Hey, today I'm going to show you how to make this bubble cushion. Let's get started. Let's prepare the fabric. 60 piece of front side, 4x4. Four four. Also, 60 piece of back side, 3x3 three three inch. Obviously, before you cut the fabric, you already have a plan in your head. How many bubble you need, how big the cushion will be, stuff like that. Also, for the back side of the fabric, you can use scratch fabric, leftovers, whatever. It won't show anyway. For me, the most toughest part of this project was cutting the fabric. You need to be very patient. You have to cut the fabric very nice and neat. This is very important. Before you sew them together, for the uh, bigger fabric, which is front piece fabric, you have to find the uh, center line for every side. Fold in half and use your finger, nail, or tool and make it kind of press, you know, make it really crisp and open. Then Fold in half again, find the center, and press it. This is very important. Now you have four center line. Then with back piece and front piece, wrong side together, and you have to match four corners. Just like video, you match four corner with different size of the uh, fabric. So obviously, the bigger fabric, which is front piece, you will have excessive fabric. But do not worry about it. This is perfectly will make sense later. Okay, now there's a uh, excessive fabric in the middle which you press it earlier. I told you this is important. That's because th now you sew very easily. Use back stitch and you hold the center line just like that pinch whatever and hold it down upward then sew it together the seam allowance uh, should be 1 8 inch just sew them around again pinch the center and hold it down upright then sew them together make sure you have to sew them nice and neat straight line and sew them around then you have to make this 60 of them well i did 60 of them i guess depend on the project if you make the smaller size of the cushion it's gonna be 40 of them 48 of them it's really up to you 
Once you sew them together, please make sure you sew them together nice and neat from back side as well. Make sure no hole. Now fun part, you put them together. You probably have already planned. So one by one, you sew them together. Right side together and sew one side. Then put another one right side together, just like that. This is very important. Place them in line. Once you place them in line, you're never gonna get confused. So let's put them together. Okay, right side together and sew them down. Just the one side. Use always back stitch at the beginning and end. Then this is very easy because you just sew right on near the the line you already made. Okay, I put two together. Now third one. Right side together and sew them down. Again, if you put them in line, you're never gonna get confused. But believe me, if you are not organized, you get confused. So please be careful. I sew them little by little. I made a set of three that would be easier for me to organize, but it's really up to your project, you know, the combination design and everything. So it's really up to you. So I made lots of set of three, then I'm kind of organizing how am I gonna put them together this is again important so you're not gonna get mixed up once you put them together make sure this is all good Again, I put them little by little, of course. The first one and second one. There you go. Right side together and sew them down. From here, it's so easy because I organized everything. So I just pick one set, then sew them together. Just to make sure, you know, the which side to together, you know, stuff like that. It's so easy. There we go. The third one. Right side together and sew them down.
Now I have five long straps. Okay, then right side together and sew them down. But important thing is the alignment. The every single seam has to be matched. That's the most important thing here. Can you see? I'm trying to match the uh, every single seam, and I use the uh, clip to secure them. Once you're ready, just sew them down together. And after this, just add one more strap and another strap and another strap until the end. That's about it. This is so simple. Once you put them together, you measure the length and width, then cut the back piece of the fabric. Mine was 18 by 44 inch. This is optional because I tried to make the long, big cushion. So I need something to hold on tight on the chair. So I put the uh, elastic band there. So it's really up to you. With or without elastic band, now you put the uh, back piece of the uh, cushion right side together and sew them. But make sure you have opening on top of the cushion or side, it's really up to you. Make sure leave the opening. And I use quarter inch seam. I'm putting the uh, elastic band. And if you don't like elastic band, you can use Velcro. It's really up to you. And I want to tell you one thing about the back piece of the fabric. You should cut back piece of the fabric after you make front piece because then you can measure better. Now I'm adding back piece. Make sure right side together and leave the opening. Speaking of the uh, opening, you must leave opening at least 9 inches or 10 inches even better because Whenever you turn the work inside out, it's going to be puffy. 
it's really hard. So if it's really small opening, it's almost impossible to turn work inside out. Don't turn the work inside out yet. Now you cut inch and a half right in the middle. This is the place where you put the fiber fill in. So if it's too small cut, it's hard to put the fiber fill in, especially four corners. And if it's too big, it's tough to close them up. I cut every single back piece of fabric. Now I put in fiber fill in. Make sure you put enough fiber fill, especially four corners. I really like very firm feeling, so I put quite a bit. This is the reason why I put them all together first before I put it in the uh, fiber fill. Because if I put in the uh, fiber fill before I put them all together, it's almost impossible to put them all together because it's too puffy. So if you don't need the really firm puffy cushion, you could actually put some fiber fill into the uh, each individual, you know, the cushion part and close it. Then you can put them all together. So you don't have to cut this, you know, back piece of the uh, fabric and so on and so on. But only if you put a little bit of the, uh, the fiber fill. Now let's close them up. It won't show this part anyway because you will turn the, the work inside out. So you don't really have to worry, you know, it's a little bit messy or whatever. Just close them up really tight. And I really like pulling hard so the, the cushion will firmer. You can turn the work inside out. However, you cut four corners before you turn the work inside out. That'll be nicer look when you turn work inside out. I am turning work inside out. I was so struggled because I left the opening on the top of the cushion so it was way too long to turn work inside out so I should have opening on the side. After you turn the work inside out, close the opening by hand or sewing machine either way. Then that's about it. Enjoy!